All right, that looks a little better. Everything looks pretty clean. Don't think I got too much water in there. No, we're good. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna wipe this down, then we're gonna bring it inside and uh, button it up. Okay, so you may remember that I had an issue with the recoil on this thing. Turns out I didn't. The gas tank needs to be fully seated on the engine so those pawls can engage this uh, crank pulley nut. But if there's nothing there, they'll just keep going until they lock. So that's good news. I guess nothing was wrong the whole time. I'm just uh, not really clear on what I'm doing. So what we're going to do now is mount this thing all the way down. That looks pretty good. And then we are going to hook up the gas tank and see if we can get this thing to fire. I've already fogged the cylinders with uh, some fogging oil when I thought everything was seized. Turns out it wasn't, so they should be good to go. Theoretically, this should pop, but I don't have the lower unit on it right now, so I just want to see if it'll fire. If it fires, awesome. Um, but really, it has no cooling right now, so I, I can't leave it running too long. So let's see what we can do. So when you want to start these things, the instructions are right here. So open air vent on fuel tank. That's this little knob. So I open that. That should allow the air to get into the tank. Then it says to open the fuel shutoff valve, which is this red thing, all the way. So I'm going to unscrew this until it stops. All right. Then it says put the control lever in start about there and then we are going to choke it since it hasn't been run that's this then i just need to pull this guy and theoretically we'll hear some cool noises in a few seconds here wow really good compression oh you hear that? I heard a pop. Let's go a little faster. What? All right, we got something, boys. Let's go a little faster. What? It works. Ah, oh, hell yeah. All right. Well, that is awesome. I just made uh, my garage smell like two-stroke, but wow, this thing has not fired in over 20 years, probably more than that. So hearing that noise, oh my God, huge relief. So still might need to rebuild the car, but in terms of the electrics under that flywheel cover and the condition of the internals, I mean, I heard it rev. I kind of want to do it again. Should I do it again? Yeah, I'm going to do it again. Okay, now I want to rev it just a little bit. Okay, that's it. I'm not doing it anymore until I get the water pump. But uh, yeah, that is awesome. I am stoked about this. Probably going to detail it up a bit um, before you see it again. I'm going to try to polish the midsection again. I already did polish it. When I was 14 or 15, I hand sanded and polished this whole midsection, but it looks like it needs another touch of love here. And then I'll clean this guy up. But yeah, that is, I'm really excited. So I'm sure the car will need to be messed with. I mean, it's, oh wow, dripping quite a bit of fuel here. That's not good. Don't know if a float is stuck or what, but that could be a sign of a stuck float. I don't know, we'll figure it out, but stay tuned until next time, guys. This is, uh, this is super exciting. Cheers.